Hello friends, welcome to yet another lecture on chemical engineering thermodynamics. This is Professor Arvind Prasad. Today we will be learning a very important skill. That is how to calculate activity coefficients for non-ideal solutions from VLE data. Now this is a very important skill because by using activity coefficients one can model, mathematically model the VLE data back and this can be used to design distillation columns. So therefore, please watch this video till the end because this is a very important skill for professionals as well as students. Now let us say you have a VLE data. In my case, the VLE data is of methyl ethyl ketone toluene at 50 degrees Celsius. This has been, been taken from Pena, Colin and Composite Tissot, Journal Chemical Engineering Thermodynamics, Volume 10, page 337-341-1978. Now the data provided in this journal is that of the pressure versus the concentration in the liquid phase of methyl ethyl ketone and its concentration in the vapor phase. Now, how do we go about calculating the activity coefficients of methyl ethyl ketone and toluene at 50 degrees Celsius? We use the modified Raoult's law. The modified Raoult's law is Y1 P is equal to X1 gamma 1 P1 sat. Now, obviously, for the first point that is 0, 0, we will not get any value. It will be an indeterminate value gamma 1 will be an indeterminate value. From the second point onwards, we can write y1 into p divided by x1 p1 sat. So we get the values of gamma 1 and as we can see here the value of gamma 1 at pure solution of methyl ethyl ketone is 1. Now the value of gamma 2 at 0 concentration of methyl ethyl ketone will be 1. That is because we have pure toluene solution here and the value of gamma 2 for other points is calculated as 1 minus the concentration of methyl ethyl ketone in the vapor phase. So this is 1 minus concentration of methyl ethyl ketone is concentration of toluene multiplied by the pressure divided by the concentration of toluene in the vapor liquid phase multiplied by its vapor pressure. So let's accept the brackets. Yeah, the brackets are right. And let's calculate. And as understood, the last value is indeterminate. So this brings us to, to the end. Of Please like and subscribe my video. This is the end of my video once again. Okay, goodbye and have a great day.